Hello student, welcome to my channel Learn More Maths by Varakumar. Today we are going to solve some problems from the chapter Progressions XS 6.3. Student, there is a problem. Fourth problem here. Uh, see it. The first and the last terms of an arithmetic progression are 17 and 350 respectively. If the common difference is 9, how many terms are there and what is their sum? So this is has given student. So just uh, we have to analyze what he has given in the problem what we have to find. So the first and the last term of an AP has given. So the first term of an in an AP the first term is denoted by small a. So small a has given which is 17 and the last term he has given that is L is equal to 350. These two things he has given student. If the common difference is 9, that is a small d is equal to 9 he has given. How many terms are there? So what we have to find here, here how many terms? That is number of terms we have to find student, n value we have to find. And what is their sum? So we have to find a sum. So these three things he has given to us, he is asking to find us these two things. Sir. So a value, l value and a d value he has given. So he is asking to find as n value and sn value. So how can we find? So by taking l is equal to 350, l is the last term or the nth term. So it can be written as a plus n minus 1 into d is equal to 350. So by substituting a and d values, we can get n value here. So if we know the n value, we have to find, suppose if we, n is equal to 10, we have to find S10 by using the formula n by 2 into a plus L. So that is the analyzation of the problem student. Now we have to solve. So solution student, how can we find the solution? So first and the last terms of AP. So in an AP, the first term in the given AP, First term is 17, a is equal to 17 he has given and last term l is equal to 350 comma common difference d is equal to 9. So these things he has given to us. Okay, so he has given in the given AP first term is denoted by small a it is a 17 and the last term is denoted by small l it is 350 common difference is denoted by small d it is 9 it has given so by taking l is equal to 350 student uh, l is equal to 350 this is the last term or the nth term in an arithmetic progression it can be written as a plus n minus 1 into d is equal to 350 a plus n minus 1 into d so by substituting a and d values we can get n value so here i am substituting a and d a is equal to 17 so i am writing 17 plus uh, n minus 1 right as usual so d is equal to 9 so write d is equal to 9 is equal to 350 so by simplifying you have to find the value of n take 17 to the right side so on the left uh, 9 into n minus 1 is equal to 350 minus 17. So 350 minus 17 is equal to how much student? 333. 333. So therefore n minus 1 is equal to. So take 9 to the right side it divides divided by 9. So here 9 ones are 9. So 9 3s are 27, 9 3s are 27 and 33 minus 27 is 6, 6 and 3, 63. So 9 7s are 63, so n minus 1 is equal to 37. So take minus 1 to the right side student, so we get n is equal to 37 plus 1, that is 38. So take minus 1 to the right side it becomes plus 1 therefore n is equal to 38 so we got how many terms are there he is asking therefore there are 38 terms in the given ap so what is their sum he is asking to find as the sum we have sn is equal to 
n by 2 into a plus l. So this is the second formula student to find the sum of the n terms in an arithmetic progression if we know the a and l values. So here we have a and l values we have to use the second formula. So yes n here n is equal to 38. So yes 38 is equal to so n by 2 that is 38 divided by 2 into a plus l. So a value is 17 and l value is 350. So 17 plus 350. So 38 divided cancel by 2. 2 ones and 2 19s are 38. So 19 into 17 plus 350 it becomes how much student? 367. 367. So now we have to multiply 367 into 19. So I am multiplying here see student 367 into 19 multiply by 9. So 9 sevens are 63, 9 six are 54 plus 6 60 and 9 threes are 27 plus 6 33. So again by 1. So write 7 6 3. So here 3 7 9 6. 6973 so 6973 so this is the sum so we have to write in the conclusion how many terms are there he is asking therefore there are 38 terms there are 38 terms and what is their sum and their sum is and their sum is equal to how much student 6973 so this he is asking to find student there are 38 terms these are the 38 so he is asking how many terms are there therefore there are 38 terms what is their sum their sum is equal to 6973. So this is fourth problem in exercise 6.3 student.